What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, we're gonna be going over how you can use WP Scan to scan for any vulnerabilities that you might have existing on your WordPress site. WP Scan is the sponsor of this video, but I think that they have an amazing tool and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. We're gonna be checking to see if we have any vulnerabilities in our plugins and, and users, and we're going to see how the tool will inform us of it and how it can help us fix it. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so what I've got here is a regular WordPress site, and this is gonna be kind of what we're working with. The only difference is that we're using Bedrock, so we can kind of manipulate the plugin versions a little bit to, uh, so we can install some, some bad plugins. So let's just kind of take a look at some of the things that we're gonna need. First and foremost is we're gonna actually need to have WP Scan installed. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can go to wpscan.io and you can just have it run on their website. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to be using the command line interface. Um, and there's a couple ways of go about going about using it. Um, you can use Docker or you can install the Ruby gem. Uh, since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to, and we don't wanna install, you know, go through all the steps of installing Docker for everybody. Let's just install the Ruby gem. Um, so we're gonna go back here um, to my terminal and do gem install WP scan. Um, it's gonna come up with an error for me because this is a, I don't have permissions to write to that directory. So it actually has um, a solution right here, the next line in the document, uh, documentation, sudo gem install dash n, user local bin, WP scan. And so I'm gonna do that and type in my password. And it's not gonna do anything for me because I already have WP scan installed and all the documentation for it is all up to date. So I'm gonna clear that out. So there's a couple things that we'll also need to understand about WP scan. Uh, WP scan number one um, will like actually go to your website that you type in and start checking things out and kind of getting a feel for what is actually um, happening on your site if you have you know, uh, XML RPC on there, if you have WP cron enabled, if what version of WordPress are you on, are you on, what uh, theme are you using, things like that. However, in order to actually get what um, is vulnerable on your site, you actually have to hook up that scan to the vulnerability API. And so if you go to wpvulndb.com, this is another product by WP scan, they keep track of all of the vulnerabilities that go on with WordPress core, plugins, and themes. And so actually you can kind of see here that they have all the latest WordPress vulnerabilities, latest plugin vulnerabilities, and latest theme vulnerabilities. And so we're gonna just focus on latest plugin vulnerabilities because it works the same pretty much for the rest of them. So you'll, you'll kind of have the idea by just going over one. And this API um, is free to use for the first 50 API requests a day. Um, and each uh, thing that you check against is an API request. So if you have 10 plugins, that's 10 API requests. So um, if you need more than that, they have um, additional tiers that you can choose from, but um, ultimately why we need to register is so we can get an API key. So if you just click register, fill out the information, and in your account dashboard, you will have an API key that we are going to need to use in some of these commands. Um, so now that we have that installed, let's just try and just hit our wpscan.local and kind of see some of the basics that it gives us. So we're going to do wpscan dash dash URL wpscan.local. That's the name of my um, local WordPress site and it's gonna come up with a nice little message. And sometimes this takes a little bit longer to kind of go through. It takes even longer once we're actually hitting that API. But right now it's just kind of crawling through our site and just kind of getting some basic information about it. Um, and so let's take a look here. We've got um, some, it says interesting findings. Um, just kind of gives us what server we're running on, the PHP version, that XML RPC has been enabled found a readme, found some full paths, WP cron is enabled, that it's WordPress version 5.5, and which theme we're using. 
And then so it checked all the plugins and things like that. Couldn't find any backups. It's not going to actually like really check those because we don't have like the API hit that we um, are going to be looking at here in a second. Um, but we do have actually plugins installed. Um, so next, let's actually, um, now that it kind of gives us a little bit of that information, let's get to see if we actually have something that uh, is vulnerable. So like we saw here, let's take a look at plugins and the WP file manager seems to have a vulnerability here. So if we click on that, um, we can see that it had um, some vulnerabilities in 6.5 and or got, that got fixed in 6.5 and that got fixed in 6.9. So if we look at uh, WP file manager in um, packages, if we look at WP file manager and see what we have to work with. Um, if we click on this, uh, looks like we can grab 6.0. That seems like it's it's got a vulnerability in it, um, most likely. So let's just uh, click on that and let's make sure that we get this installed. So I'm gonna go, I actually might already have this installed, but let's double check. Uh, Composer.json, actually I do have this installed already. So we don't need to do that. Let's just make sure that we've got it back here in our, in our plugins. Flywheel needs to wake up a little bit. Installed plugins. Okay, yeah, we do. I just remembered that I did this earlier. Uh, okay, so we've got WP File Manager and it's on version 6.0. So let's uh, take a look at what this new command might look like. So we're gonna have what we had just a second ago. First of all, WP scan, dash dash URL, WP scan dot local. And then we're going to be able to enumerate over a few things. So let's take a look at some of this documentation about what we can enumerate over. Um, let's go back to the top and go to the wiki. And it's gonna give us some more documentation, but this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys is that these are the things that you can enumerate over. And you can pick out very specific things that you want to check, take a look at, or if you, um, don't give it any sort of flag, it's gonna do a handful of these. And each uh, kind of pair of letters or letter represents what it will be searching through. And right now we just want to search through the vulnerable plugins. And instead of, you know, vulnerable plugins, vulnerable themes, Tim Thumbs, um, config backups, things like that, that just makes it take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that. Um, so we want to do dash E, we want to enumerate over the vulnerable plugins. And then there's different types of plugin detection that you can do. You can do passive or you can do aggressive. Um, and on the documentation, they actually encourage you to use mixed. So we're gonna do plugins dash detection. Um, and then we're gonna do mixed. And then lastly, we have to give it our API key so we can check the database. Um, to see if what we have currently installed exists in the database. So let's just do dash dash API dash token space and then the token that um, we've got from the wpvolndb.com. And so let's uh, just run that and see if we can get anything else this time. Um, this one's going to definitely take longer. Um, here in a second, a little progress bar is going to pop up and we're going to... Um, Wait, it takes like three or four minutes to, to scan. So I'm gonna pause the video while that happens and then we'll uh, take a look at what it's got, um, what, it's, what kind of information it's got for us when it's done. All right, so let's take a look. Now that that's done, if we scroll up just a little bit, seems like there are two vulnerabilities that have been found. And so it's gonna list out all of the different plugins that it's identified and it saw that we have that we have a WP file manager. Um, gives you a link to the, the you know, readme and the, the repository. Um, it says, well, first of all, that it's out of date, so it probably should be upgraded, but it also found a couple of actual vulnerabilities. And so it says that it was fixed, uh, that each one um, was fixed in, well, it kind of gives you a little description, the backup file directory listing an arbitrary file upload leading to RCE. So it tells you what a little bit about um, what was wrong 
and then what version it was fixed in. So this one's fixed in 6.5, this one's 6.9. But then the kind of cool thing here is that it also gives you some um, articles about what um, the act, more details about what the, um, the vulnerability is. So there's a nice little word fence article here that we can just kind of open up and see what it's got for us. Um, and it says 700,000 users affected by zero day vulnerability and file manager plugin. And it goes into some pretty major details about <laughs> what's, what's going on with this. So um, just to make sure that what's going on is something that you need to take care of and just all the hows and whys. So that's awesome. So let's uh, just uh, up, make sure we, you know, we update our, you know, our, our plugin here. Um, and then so you can, you know, do what you will with that, fix it, or if, you know, if it's not that big of a deal, you hold off, whatever, you know, it, the choice is yours at that moment. But the other thing that we're gonna take a look at is we have a couple of users inside of our uh, database here that have, I know that, cause I set them up, um, weak passwords. So what we're gonna do is um, it actually, uh, WP Scan has a way for you to check um, uh, for weak passwords. Now, it's not doesn't have like an API of passwords that it holds on to and checks against that API. It expects you to have a file that has passwords to check. Um, so if we take a look just a little bit further down here in the documentation, if we look for passwords, um, actually it's on the, on the front, I believe. No, they have an actually an article. So if we do uh, WP scan um, passwords, it has an article here about brute forcing passwords. And so it checks um, your file and, and expects you kind of to have a file full of passwords that um, kind of looks a little something like this, just, you know, a list of, a, a, of, a, of weak passwords. So, um, there's a website called haveibeenowned.com and they actually have, if you scroll down, oh shoot, these are, actually that's not it, it's um, passwords. Um, they actually have a list of uh, files of, of passwords. So, that, I mean, there are like 11, 10 gigs, 9 gigs, 7 gigs, all this kind of stuff. Um, and this is what hackers use kind of to you know, attack certain sites. They have lists of passwords and they just try passwords over and over again on, um, on websites. And so it kind of expects you to have a list as well. So let's create one real quick. I mean, I already know what the passwords are. So we're just going to imagine that I have 12 gigs of passwords to try against my site. Um, and so the way that this kind of works is we're actually, let's have this open my uh, hyper terminal, we're going to clear this out, because now we have updated that plugin. But the command that we're going to use is WP scan dash dash URL is WP scan dot local, just like we've uh, used before. But then we're gonna do dash dash passwords. And then it's going to be a path to a text file. So we're going to do passwords dot txt. Um, we need to create passwords dot txt. So in our, since we're running the command from our, our public directory, we're also going to create a new file called passwords.txt. Um, and then let's just go into um, our users and just so you guys can see, um, the password for admin is going to be changed to password. And then it's also going to, let's just change, I think Alex is, is set to Alex. So let's check for the password of Alex and the password of password and save those. Now let's run our command and see what it comes up with. Um, and so this will be great. So if you have that giant list of passwords and you have you know a couple hundred users on your website, and if you can get into it uh, via a tool like this, then you can go ahead and let those user know, like I reset their password and, and say, hey, you, you need to reset this password because I just figured out exactly what it, what it was. Um, so it, it'll be really nice to be able to um, kind of get ahead of that so hackers aren't getting 
into your users' accounts before um, before you can find out. Um, so this one's also just going to run real quick. It's brute forcing. Um, it's going to search for authors that it can find and then try those passwords against them. And it looks like it's going to be done here in a second. So I'm just going to hang out. All right. So it says that it was uh, form, uh, found a couple different users. So it says users identified um, Alex. Whoops. Accidentally clicked on something. Um, username Alex, and it found kind of how it found it. Or it says that it found by on the author posts. Um, and then there was um, I, author ID brute forcing. So it's a more of a, an aggressive pattern, which I'm guessing that it just tried author ID one, author ID two, three, four, things like that. Um, but then on top of it, it says performing password attack on XML RPC against two users. And then it successfully successfully found um, valid combinations. So it saw that we had a username called Alex and, a, and its password was Alex. And then we had a username of admin and its password was password. So that's a big, really nice chunk of information that we can then take to our users and say, hey, username Alex, you need to change your password because turns out it's Alex. <laughs> so these are just a kind of a few examples of how you can use WP scan to get ahead of hackers on your website and keep up to date on uh, the vulnerabilities that your site could per, uh, potentially have. Um, I could kind of see this really very useful in like a build process. So you push your PR um, or you merge in your PR and it runs a build that, you know, scans your site and says, Hey, you know what this, uh, um, you know, plugin that you just installed has a vulnerability attached to it. We need to, you know, make sure that that doesn't go through. So you can kind of scan the reports, see that happen, and then, you know, make your change that way, you know, stuff that shouldn't go to production never goes to production. Again, I want to thank, um, WP scan for, um, sponsoring this video. I think they have an awesome tool and hopefully this kind of gives you the courage to, you know, run something like this and, um, if you're not into the CLI, they also have a plugin that you can just install on your WordPress site and it kind of gives you the interface for this whole stuff, whole thing. Um, they also have a website that you can just run those scans remotely and just say, here's my website and, uh, you know, scan it for me, things like that. So big shout out to them. Thank you for sponsoring me. Um, I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a, me a comment and we can chat about it. But I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one.